Hello there, John Talley here with Boats.net. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about idling problems on your outboard. Specifically, what you need to look at if your outboard won't idle properly. Imagine trying to bring your outboard into the dock and when you bump it into neutral, it just dies. But the good part is that your outboard was running, so hopefully getting it to keep running when it's idling won't be so hard to do. So if you're ready, let's go. All right guys, now if you're running a carbureted outboard, this could be a really easy fix. In some cases, the idle screw on your carburetor might just need a small adjustment. And that'll be enough to get your motor idling properly. Now if you have a fuel injected unit, you're going to want to check the idle air control valve or IAC valve. What it does, it regulates the airflow into the engine. So we want to make sure it's clean so the air can pass through it. Now, if it's really clogged up, you probably need to go ahead and replace it. Now, once you get past the end of the line for the fuel system, you can start working backwards. You want to check your fuel filter and your air filter if your outboard has one. Now, if the engine is getting starved because of fuel by a clogged filter, that can lead to some idling problems. The same thing will apply for your air filter. If your motor isn't getting enough air, that can cause it to stall as well. Now also we want to take a look at your fuel water separator and drain it out if you need to. After that, start looking through your fuel lines. Look for kinks in the lines and also make sure, if you've got them, that your fuel tank vents are open. That's caught a lot of people. Air needs to be able to get into where the fuel tank was as the gas is pulled out. Otherwise, you're going to create a vacuum where it's hard for the motor to pull out the fuel. And while you're thinking about the fuel, why don't you smell it to make sure that it's okay. Gas goes bad over time and it happens quicker without stabilizer in it if it's been sitting for too long. Next, check your spark plugs. Make sure they're in good condition and that they're actually the correct plugs for your unit. You can clean a spark plug, but they're so cheap you might as well go ahead and replace them if they're worn. Now, if you see a lot of carbon or oil on your spark plugs, you may have a deeper problem with either a head gasket or the cylinder or the rings itself. New plugs might be a fix for your idling problem, but there could be some other stuff going on inside the motor. Now, if your motor is just running rough and not stalling out completely while idling, well, you want to go through the same checklist that we just talked about. Look at your idle screw, your IAC valve, your filters, your fuel, your fuel lines, and the plugs. You can also pull the carburetor and clean it and rebuild it. Now we have videos on how to do that on a few models, and most manufacturers offer a kit with everything you need to do a complete carburetor rebuild. Well, all right guys, there you go. Just a few things on a checklist that you need to take a look out if your outboard is cutting off at idle or just running rough. Well, listen, if you need parts for your boat, why don't you come see us at Boats.net and we can get you taken care of. If you have questions or comments, leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. And hey, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you can keep up with whatever I'm talking about or working on next. We just want to say thank you for shopping here with us at Boats.net and we will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day.